the seed of Erastosthenes. So over 2,000 years ago, Erastosthenes, a Greek who studied mathemat mathematics and was the third librarian at the library at Alexandria, was also interested in prime numbers. So itong si Erastosthenes nagkaroon ng interest in prime numbers. So he lived from 276 before Christ until 194 before Christ. He was credited with the development of the sieve of Erastosthenes. He arranged the numbers in 10 columns. So he arranged it into 10 columns. So the number 1 is not a prime number. So he crossed off every second number following by 2. So he start by 2. Because yung number 1 is not a prime number nor hindi rin siya composite number because number 1 is um, a special number. So yun. So yun yung era, um, deceit of Erastosthenes. Tennis, rather. Okay, so since number 2 is the prime number, he cross out every second number following by 2. So like this. Okay. So, um, the number 1, so kung papansin nyo yung number 1 natin, um, the number 1 is not a prime number, nor hindi rin siya um, composite number, since um, it's only a uh, factor is itself, or siya lang yung nag-iisa, na hindi na siya pwedeng ma-factor out. So, mag start tayo sa number 2. So, meron tayong number 2. So, ang sabi, he cross out every second number following by twos. So, 1, 2. So, cross out natin to. Then, another. 1, 2. So, iko cross out lang natin. 1, 2. Cross out. 1, 2. Cross out. 1, 2. Cross out. 1, 2. Cross out. 1, 2, cross out, and so forth. So, yan. Ito cross out lang natin by 2's. So, kapag na-cross out na natin, yung matitirang number dito, yun yung ating magiging um, prime numbers. Okay. So, na-cross out na natin yung number 2. Then, next, is yung number 3. So, gagamit naman tayo ng number 3. Okay. So, ang sabi, um, the next prime number is 3. So, yung next natin na prime number is 3. So, Erastosthenes cross out every third number following by 3. So, magka-count lang tayo ng 3. So, um, 1, 2, 3. Ah, dito pala. 1, 2, 3. So, na-cross out na natin yung number 6. So, 1, 2, 3. I-cross out naman natin itong number 9. So, 1, 2, 3. Na-cross out na natin yung 12. So, continue lang. 1, 2, 3. So, yung number 15, i-cross out din natin. So, 1, 2, 3. Na-cross out natin yung 18. So, 1, 2, 3. Cross out natin yung number 21. So, 1, 2, 3, 24. 1, 2, 3. So, 27. 1, 2, 3. So, na-cross out yung 30. So, 1, 2, 3. So, cross out natin yung number 33. So, 1, 2, 3. So, yung 36. Tapos na rin. So, 1, 2, 3. And then, we have 39. Okay. So, mapapansin nyo, Yung mga hindi na cross out yan, so erase ko lang muna tong um, sa 2 and 3. Since yung 2 natin tsaka 3 is prime number. Okay. So yung mga natirang um, hindi na cross out, so ito yung ating um, prime number. So ililist daw naman natin ngayon sila. Okay. So ilist daw natin yung mga prime dito. So, meron tayong um, 2. Then, we have here 3. We have here 5. So, ito yung ating mga prime numbers. So, 7. And then, 
followed by 11 Yan. then we have 13 then 17 um, 19 so yan so ito yung ating mga prime so mayroon tayong 23 25 29 so dito na isusulit sa baba yan and then 31 35 then 37 and then so on kapag dinagdagan pa natin to so example ko lang naman to eh, yung 40 so hanggang 40 so itong mga numbers na to itong ating nilis down this is a prime number so gumamit tayo ng sieve of Erastosthenes para makuha natin yung mga prime so nag cross out tayo by 2's and then nag cross out tayo by 3's so then nilis down natin yung mga prime so this is um, prime numbers so ito yung mga prime numbers so madali lang siya prime numbers and then yung mga na cross out natin like 4, 6 um, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, and so on. So, ito naman yung tinatawag natin na composite number. So, yan. The prime and the composite numbers.